Welcome to Games and Folktales, a podcast that mixes historical research and tabletop role-playing settings. I'm your host, Timothy Ferguson. This week, Hearn's Oak. A note, Halloween week is coming early this year. I had prepped a little episode for each day in the week before Halloween, and then I noticed that it overlapped with the Maginomia Beastery Kickstarter. For that Kickstarter, which is a month long, I've already prepared eight episodes, and likely another two. Adding another week of dailies into that was just too much, so I've moved all of that up into this week in September. Please keep an eye out for the Kickstarter late in October. Now, over to the meat of the episode. In Maginomia, we often pick one from a variety of possible interpretations of folklore. An obvious example of this is Hearn, who has been kitted out as the full forest god. Clearly, there's a lot of fun to be had there, and it links to modern uses of the character, so you can spin ideas off it. The dark is rising in the rain? Certainly possible. This does, however, let me have a second bite at the apple. Here's a variant of Hearn from Shakespeare. It's in The Merry Wives of Windsor. There's an old tale that goes that Hearn the Hunter, sometime a keeper here in Windsor Forest, doth all the winter time at still midnight walk round about an oak with great ragged horns, and there he blasts the tree and takes the cattle, and makes milch kine yield blood and shakes a chain in a most hideous and dreadful manner. You have heard of such a spirit, and well you know the superstitious idol held it eld, received, and did deliver to our age, this tale of Hearn the Hunter, for a truth. To stretch out the episode a little longer, I'd like to drop in a poem by Madison Corwine, which seems to me suited to Hearn the Hunter. It's called Rain and Wind, thanks to the LibriVox production team. Rain and Wind by Madison Corwine Read for LibriVox.org by Matthew D. Robinson I hear the hoofs of horses galloping over the hill, Galloping on and galloping on, When all the night is shrill with wind and rain that beats the pain, And my soul with awe is still. For every dripping window their headlong rush makes bound, Galloping up and galloping by, then back again and around, Till the gusty roofs ring with their hoofs, and the draughty cellars sound. And then I hear black horsemen hallooing in the night, Hallooing and hallooing they ride o'er vale and height, And the branches snap and the shutters clap with the fury of their flight. Then at each door a horseman, with burly bearded lip, hallooing through the keyhole, pauses with cloak a-drip, and the doorknob shakes and the panel quakes neath the anger of his whip. All night I hear their gallop and their wild halloo's alarm, the treetops sound and the veins go round in forest and on farm, But never a hair of a thing is there, only the wind and storm. Your saga may vary.